Hi guys, it's Eric from Lotus Cycle here and I'm going to show you, I hope everybody's staying safe and staying out of trouble. I'm going to show you a neat little trick for you Suron owners. If you kept this little thing that came with your charger, this little doodad, you can plug this in between your battery and, and, and the plug here, right here, like I got here. And when you turn on the bike, it becomes a blinking doodad. And what this does is allow you to use either the kickstand or the e-brake lever to program the bike to adjust the region levels. You can also deactivate your uh, your um, e-brake levers if you wanted to. Rather, um, and there's instructions in the video description on how to do that. But for now, I'm gonna just show you how to control the levels of region. Now, a factory bike comes at level three region or the ones we've seen is at max region. Some might be a little lower. Uh, there's uh, one is a little light, three is really heavy. Um, you also have the option of completely shutting it off. So on this one, let's turn it on to max region and then we'll turn it off, uh, then go to zero region. So what you do is you turn on and off the bike and to do max region, which is level three, we're gonna do four pulls, one, two, three, four, and one long pull and hold it for a few seconds, let go. Then this light should stop blinking and give us four good blinks. Okay, it stopped. One, two, three, four. We're successful. So that's how you know your program worked. Now, when I take off the kick down of the bike, you can see the region is working pretty damn good. Okay, and I personally love region because it saves the brakes and it puts, uh, more than anything, it saves the brakes. I don't like using brakes as I try to use Regen whenever I can. And also it gives you a little bit of battery that charges your battery while, while you're braking. Okay, so now we're gonna turn the Regen off on this bike. We could go down to level one, however we feel, or level two, but we're gonna go all the way, no Regen, so the bike completely free wheels when it's coasting. So to do that, it's seven pulls and one short one. And there'll be description on how, uh, what you can do with this in the video. So um, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then a long pull. Actually, I forgot to reset the bike. Let me reset the bike again. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then one long pull. Then see if it was successful. Give it a second. Do, 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 do. And then it, it stops blinking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whew, it worked. Okay, and remember you need to shut on and off the bike in between putting a program in. So now let's go ahead and try it and see if, if it really worked. And as you can see, this bike has no region now. Now the only way to change this now is by um, reprogramming a different setting in it, either one, two, or three. So, um, and also, like I said, there is a way that you can uh, you can disconnect the brakes digitally. Uh, the, not the brakes, but the e-brake cutoff so that when you're braking, it doesn't shut off the motor. Okay, guys, hope you liked that, and everyone have a good summer, and we'll talk to you next time.